Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to parse an XML response using Node.js. Uh, previously I've done a tutorial on how to parse an XML response using PHP, but since I've been slowly migrating away from PHP, I thought it would only be appropriate to do uh, a Node.js one as well. Uh, so lucky for us, in Node.js there's a, a fancy library that we're going to be using called XML to JS. Uh, it, it works really nicely in creating JSON responses. So for this tutorial, uh, we're going to go ahead and use the XML response that you see on my screen currently. Uh, and you could, you could mimic a, uh, a real uh, XML response. You could use an actual SOAP API if you want. Uh, it's up to you. But for, for purposes of this, I'm going to use a static mock of a XML response. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new project. I'm going to go ahead and create one on my desktop. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a file in there, which is going to be our Node.js script. So I'm going to do um, app.js. So now let me go ahead and open it in my text editor. And now we're going to start coding. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, uh, you know, before we start coding, let's go ahead and include the uh, XML to JS library that we want to use, or the package. So with npm uh, node package manager installed, let's go ahead and install the following. npm install XML to JS. I'll go ahead and download it right into your project directory inside of a node modules directory. And if you expand it, it'll be right there. So inside of our code editor in our app.js file, let's go ahead and add the following. All right, so what we did there is we actually just included it into our project. Uh, we, we had first downloaded it, now we're actually including it. And now let's go ahead and create our mock XML string. So it's going to be essentially what I, what I had pasted uh, in this other window, but I'm going to make it into one line. Um, let's go ahead and do the following. I'll just go ahead and copy it. And then I'll do it the long way. There's probably a way in this in this editor that I'm using to get it all on one line, um, but I'm going to do it the long way. Make sure you get your brackets correctly because XML does have quotation marks, so make sure you're using the correct uh, quotation mark. All right. Almost there. All right, so I've got uh, our mock XML response on a line here. Let's go ahead and actually use the parse string uh, functionality for this XML. So we're going to do parse string, um, and then we're going to do XML for our XML response that we're using that we just declared. And then function, and then the function has the opportunity to return an error as well as a result. And we're going to do the following. All right. All right, so if there's an error, we're gonna print out the error return. Otherwise, we're going to try to print out the response that we received. So let's go ahead and save that. Now going back into our terminal, we're gonna run it. So we're gonna type in node and then app.js. 
and as you can see, it returned a JSON response for us, uh, which is exactly what we wanted. So let's go ahead and paste this into a new window here. Again, there's probably a way for me to pretty, pretty print this inside of my editor, but for the sake of me not knowing how to use this correctly, I'm just going to go ahead and do it the long way, which isn't a big deal. Missing a bracket somewhere. Uh, all right, that uh, that looks appropriate. It's not completely aligned, but uh, all the brackets are there. They match up, um, and this is what this is what our response looks like. So it. It took our XML and it parsed it out exactly how we wanted it. It created a, an array of employee, and everything else is just a standard object element. Um, so just like that, you saw how easy it was, how quick it was. It, it didn't take any time at all um, to make a JSON calculation from the XML. And you can go ahead and use that in your uh, API project. Maybe you uh, take in a SOAP response. I know there's plenty of APIs that only return XML, uh, and if you're using Angular JS or you're using a, you you want to use the response data in a mobile application, that's kind of difficult to work with, um, and this makes it really easy.